Hello once again. This is Kevin Nethercott from the CPAS Acceleration Alliance, and we are prepping for another awesome CPAS Showcase Challenge at CASA 23 in Amsterdam next week. I can't believe it's already here. Um, we have one of our contestants here on uh, this session with me, um, Ollie Lifley from Luware. Welcome. Thanks very much, Kevin. Yeah, we're excited to be involved in this. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's also going to be very educational, and um, it'll be part of you know the broader CASA 23 event that we have kicking off next Monday. So we're super excited to have you here. Ollie, there's probably a number of our listeners here that um, haven't heard too much about Luware. You're based in Europe. Could you give us a little bit of background on Luware? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we're headquartered in Zurich in, in Switzerland, um, but we have a number of offices around Europe and um, our customer base is, is global. Um, and essentially what we do at Luware is we've uh, developed um, some customer service solutions uh, to enhance the, the cooling and the customer experience journey within Microsoft Teams. So um, since our uh, since being founded in 2010, we've always focused on developing customer service solutions for the Microsoft UC stack. So that started uh, back in 2010 with, with a, a connection between uh, Cisco and OCS, and and then since then it's grown, and we had a, an enterprise grade contact center solution for Skype for Business. So that's obviously naturally transitioned to, to Microsoft Teams. So some of those solutions are kind of your traditional contact center um, and CCAS type um, functionality. Um, but then we are also now looking at um, some other use cases, whether that's kind of more informal uh, customer service solutions and now expanding out into multi-modality um, use cases. Yeah, it's all about the customer experience these days. And so being able to extend that modality, omni-channel, all those elements are, are critical for success for sure. Um, so you have this broad customer base globally. What is it that you're seeing out there that they're interested in? What are they investing in? Um, I think uh, that would be really interesting for all of us to, to get a glimpse into what's really happening out there in the market. Yeah, absolutely. I think in the last kind of um, even pre-pandemic, we've gone through a few different technology life cycles quite quickly. So um, I'd say pre-pandemic, a lot of organizations were looking to move to uh, cloud um, UCAS and CCAS solutions uh, from their on-prem solutions. Um, so, so a lot of customers are coming from kind of your more traditional CCAS or, or UCAS uh, type um, solutions. And then when the pandemic hits, I think all organizations uh, saw the value of consolidating those into a single app. And, and there was one really clear winner there in the pandemic from a UCAS perspective, which was obviously um, Microsoft Teams. So what we're finding is that the customers are coming to us. They've got probably some sort of flavor of UCAS or CCAS solution um, already deployed. But now they're looking to integrate that more closely into Microsoft Teams. And um, most vendors now, as, as everyone's probably realized, has a Teams connection or integration. But what a lot of customers are now growing privy to is that not all of these integrations are, are, are the same. And there's a big difference between connecting an existing platform to Teams and actually building your platform inside Teams using the native Teams APIs. And, and we fall in that kind of second camp there. So a lot of our customer base has come to us because they've recognized that they need a more native um, Teams platform that uses some of the native tool, Microsoft tools, not just in Teams, but in the wide, wider Microsoft ecosystem. So um, we'll, we'll go on to show some of this next week, but um, our philosophy is very much to leverage and harness what Microsoft has already built. So using things like the Power Platform, so Power Automate, Power BI, using some of their tools like Azure Communication Services, all of these um, tools that Microsoft have built um, but what we're looking to do is actually bring that into a SaaS offering. It's very well and good having the ability to build an ACS and Azure Communication Services bot or um, build something bespoke in Power Automate. But that takes a lot of resource. It takes a lot of development. And what customers are looking for is an off-the-shelf 
um, supportable offering in a simple SaaS model. And that's what we're trying to provide. That's, that's, that's excellent. No, as we look at how CPaaS is evolving from 1.0 to 2.0 to 3.0, what you just described is really that 3.0 experience where the customer can, can really just consume the services rather than having to have a bunch of developers and so forth to, to do it for them. So we're, we're really excited because I think that's really what's going to expand the market as we move forward. Um, a programming note, um, I think um, your CEO is, is actually talking on that topic at CASA 23 next week as well. So not only are you in the showcase, but uh, Philippe is going to uh, be able to share um, some of those experiences and, and learnings and working with teams and Microsoft. And um, so that was a great description of, of what you do. And he'll even have more time um, sharing that next week in, in person. So we are up against the clock next week with uh, our uh, CPAS Showcase Challenge. For those of you that might be new to this, um, essentially what we're doing is an American Idol style um, contest where we'll have um, three to four different um, contestants here with Lou Ware being one of those. We'll have four esteemed judges that will interact with those that uh, are presenting and ultimately um, a winner will be chosen. So Ollie, tell us a little bit, don't give away too much, but uh, share with us a little bit with what, uh, what you're planning to, uh, to wow us with next week and why you think um, you might have the goods to, to bring the, the winning prize home. Yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping I don't get booed off the stage or the buzzers <laughs> don't go within a minute of, of my talk. Um, but we're, we're looking to present um, a new offering that, that we have um, from, from Luware. It's, it's called Luware Interact. Um, and this is where we, we've built a solution on Azure Communication Services. And we're looking to bring in uh, web chat, voice and video communications from a customer's website natively into Teams. So obviously there are lots of web chat solutions out there. There are lots of uh, kind of web video solutions out there, but Microsoft Teams is a fundamentally a chat voice and video collaboration platform. So we want to offer those communicate channels of communication to a customer via our website, but when they're delivered to an agent, we want to use the native Teams chat. So when a web chat is delivered from the website to an agent the agent has to respond in their teams chat and 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 the same with voice and video when they get distributed a voice or video call from the website we use microsoft teams to actually collaborate there so all of your normal collaboration like screen sharing chat is available to the agent and available uh, to the customer on the website so we're using those components of teams to deliver a, a SaaS uh, cpas um, solution there very cool. Very cool. I think, you know, as we look at this, it's all about the customer experience. And um, so I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to experience that as we, you know, view the session with you. So we're super excited to be hosting you next week in Amsterdam. Um, anything specific you're looking forward to is, as you visit, uh, I believe you're based in the UK. So as you, as you cross the channel there, um, what are what are you hoping to, to be able to do in Amsterdam while you're there? I heard there was uh, potentially a boat trip on one of the evenings. So, um, yeah, very much looking forward to that. I think there's also some interesting um, talks being being put on uh, around AI. So, yeah, I'm keen to, to kind of expand my knowledge there. But, yeah, it should be a great event. Excellent. Excellent. Well, we look forward to you joining us and um, even more so to uh, to see you on stage. So. Ollie, really appreciate your time today and um, look forward to meeting in person next week. Safe travels. Thanks very much, Kevin. See you next week. All right. Thanks, Ollie.